Welcome to Marketing 10. This is a series of videos about marketing in 10 minutes or less. Today, I'm gonna to be going over custom audience segments in Google Ads. So let's get started in our Google Ads account, and today I wanna to show you how to create your own custom segments that you can use in your campaigns. So let's come over here to our Tools and Settings, and under Tools and Settings, you're gonna see Shared Library, and under Shared Library, you're gonna to wanna to find the Audience Manager. So we're gonna click on this link. So when you come to Audience Manager, you're gonna see all of your data segments, combined segments, and you're gonna see an option here for custom segments. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. So you're first gonna start by clicking segments on the left-hand side, and then you wanna click on custom segments. Now you can see here, I have four different custom segments in my account. So to create a new custom segment, all we have to do is click on the plus sign name our segment so what i'm going to do is just do farmhouse decor new 2022 and then what you want to do is you want to include people with the following interests or behaviors so what you do is you could either choose people with any of these interests or purchase intentions or you can choose people who searched for any of these terms on google so you can see this is only campaigns running on google properties on under other campaigns terms will be used as interests or purchase intentions so what I like to do is add Google search terms. We're gonna create two different audiences in this quick example, and I'm just gonna give you some different ideas that you can use. So if I'm doing farmhouse decor new 2022, what I can do is say people who search for any of these terms on Google, and I can open up my keyword list. So you can see here, I have my huge keyword research list for farmhouse goals, and if I just stay on the left-hand side here, I have a lot of the most popular keywords here just in a list so we're just going to come right down the list and come to the bottom here so a total of 175 keywords we're going to copy each one and then we're going to come over here add google search terms and we're just going to paste them here okay so you can see that's going to add all of those individual keywords so we have all of these keywords here it's showing our weekly impressions are 1 billion to 5 billion so basically we have a large enough audience now that we can target this audience immediately in our campaigns so we have farmhouse decor new 2022 people who search for any of these terms on google and we have all of these different search terms here and then you can say you can expand the segment by also including and i can say people who browse websites similar to and i can enter a bunch of different farmhouse related urls here so i can enter my own url so farmhousegoals.com and then i can enter some competitor websites as well so antiquefarmhouse.com farmhouse decorshop.com so I can just find all of these different farmhouse related websites and enter them all one by one here so you want to enter all of these websites and then the other thing you can do is people who use apps similar to and then you can enter apps here as well so since there aren't really that many farmhouse related apps let's just say I want to choose Wayfair all you do is enter a search here and then you're going to see some of these different apps so if we click on it that's going to say people who use apps similar to Wayfair so just some different options you have for creating these audiences. In this case, we have some different websites. I would wanna expand the website list a little bit, but the main thing here is all of these different keywords and we're gonna click on save. And now you can see we have our Farmhouse Decor new 2022 audience. It's a custom segment built with search terms. Right now it's under review, but we should be able to add it to our campaigns immediately. Now let's create another audience here as well. So we'll click on the plus sign again. So let's just say you do people with any interests or purchase intentions, and we're gonna use the same exact keyword list that we just did. So we're gonna paste that keyword list in here again. Okay, and immediately if you look here, you see the weekly impressions are 10 billion to 1 trillion. So the main takeaway from that is if you're looking for a more narrow and targeted audience, you wanna use people who search for any of these terms on Google. This is the one I prefer to use is people who search for any of these terms people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. So let's just say I do farmhouse decor 2022 and we'll do purchase intentions. So if you're choosing people with any of these interests or purchase intentions, you're gonna get a larger audience. So I prefer smaller audiences because it generally means that you're finding people who are gonna be more relevant to your business. And in this case, we could also expand this segment by including people who browse types of websites, people who use types of apps, and we can click on save and create this audience. So these are two different custom segments. Now just to do a completely different example here, let's just say I'm going after marathon runners. So I wanna find anybody who's interested in running a marathon. You can come in here and do people who search for any of these types of terms and add some of your different terms here. So I could do 
running marathons, marathon training. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see these Google search term ideas and they're gonna give you some different ideas here as well. So as you enter more keywords, Google ads will also give you more relevant keywords as well. You can see with just these four keywords here, we have 500 million to 1 billion weekly impressions. So you wanna keep adding more and more to this. So let's just say I do marathons, marathons near me. Now you'll see we have 10K and half marathons near me. I could do something like marathon running shoes. So people who have shown an interest in running marathons, you just wanna enter keywords here that people who have that interest or people who are actively searching for marathon training, marathon shoes, local marathons, you wanna keep adding those search terms here and then it's gonna expand your audience and then the other thing you could do is do people who browse types of websites and find some of the top marathon websites. So for example, we could do marathonguide.com, press on enter. We can do running in the USA.com. We can enter worldsmarathons.com. So find a bunch of different URLs. If you're ha having trouble finding websites, a standard Google search, just do the main keyword marathons, will help you find these top websites. So findmymarathon.com, now something like active.com, you might wanna just focus mainly on marathon type URLs because that's gonna give you the most targeted audience. So raceraves.com, capstoneraces.com, runmyrtlebeach.com. It's starting to give me some local results because I'm located near Myrtle Beach. So if we come over here and we have all of these different marathon URLs, all of these different people searching for different types of marathons, then what I can do is click on, and again, you could use apps as well. So people who are using marathon apps or specific running tracking apps might have an interest in whatever you're advertising. So we click on, we would name the audience here, click on save, and that would give us basically a marathon custom segment. And then what you would wanna do is you wanna come back over to your Google Ads account. We have a sample display campaign here. And let's just say we're coming into this ad group and I wanna change my targeting, so we're gonna come over here to audience targeting, and in this case, we're gonna click on edit audience segments, and then you're gonna see kind of your standard targeting look here for any display campaign you're running or anytime you're choosing different audiences. When you come in here to browse, so we're gonna get rid of these ones here, you're gonna see some of the options, detailed demographics, affinity, in-market and life events, your data and similar segments, combined segments, and then here, custom segments. So if we choose custom segments, so you can see here, we have our two different audience segments that we just created. And if we scroll over it, you can see the different purchase intentions that we added. And over here, the new farmhouse decor, this is all different keywords that people have actually searched in Google. So if we click on the farmhouse decor new 2022, we now have this custom segment added to our campaign. We click on save, and we're immediately gonna start targeting it as soon as it becomes eligible. So these are custom segments. They're a great way to create new audiences and create really your own in-market type audiences because you're gonna be finding people who are actively searching for whatever it is that you're promoting. So there's different ways to create these audiences using interests or keywords. It's very easy to do and I would highly recommend just using your keyword list or finding a list of websites by doing a simple Google search and then just finding that audience and then using them to send your advertisements to and hopefully drive more conversions. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.